you still have that desire to do the thing, you're just gonna start over again. Let that keep going. Let that keep going. A todos les gusta levantar. Okay, fitness in Spanish. Fitness in Spanish. G, if you're not, welcome back. We are up bright and early on a Sunday because we're going to start off a week of workouts. And I'm going to try to do this week of workouts good. It's going to be a good mix. It's not going to be like my normal week of workouts, which is like a lot of home workouts. I'm going to try to mix it up and go to the gym. But there will be home workouts because that's like my new thing. That's our new thing. <laughs> workouts can look like whatever. And that's like a big thing for me because I know that home workouts are effective. I know that walking outside is effective. I know that jumping rope is effective. I know that you can get a good workout outside of the gym. So if you don't want to go to the gym, you don't have to go to the gym. Like it's so much other things that you can do. You can do classes, you can do yoga, you can do yoga at home. And unless you're trying to do like bodybuilding or something like very, very specific, you can definitely start your workout journey or fitness journey at home. As we all saw the pandemic, okay, and I'm digging all in my eye and doing all these things because it's 8 in the morning on a Sunday. And maybe I sleep in on Sundays. But I really wanted to start off going to this yoga class this week because last week was uh, 4th of July. So classes were jumbled. I was busy doing stuff that I think I only made it to like two yoga classes. And I've been trying to like to go to three yoga classes. When I have my coffee. I actually remember my straw. <laughs> And we're gonna get out of here. They don't let us record in yoga class because it's yoga class and privacy. I get it. So if I can get some clips like before class or after class, or come home and show you guys what I did, I'll do it. Y'all know I'm not a, I'm not afraid to show y'all what I did. Okay, I like it. I like to come out here and like to show y'all. So I will see you guys in a bit. And again, I'm Asia G. And welcome, 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 everybody. <laughs> mix, mix, mix. Another day, another workout. We have made it to the gym. So let's do a good little juicy, a juicy, juicy, juicy gym workout. I feel like it's mostly gonna be legs. Las piernas, legs. I made Spanish no cards for the gym and I thought I bought them so that I could share some of the stuff with you guys today, but they in my other bag. So it's customary. Did you do your Duolingo? Did you do it? Hmm? Hmm. Let me see. Que existe? Que lo existe? Que existe lo? I don't think you can add lo to the end of that. Pre-workout. Jim, we're not going to be here more than an hour 30. I really want to say an hour. So maybe a 45 minute strength training and then 30 minute walk on the tread. Time to tell. Let's roll y'all. a hit style again because that's like my new bigger in life is we're gonna do a set of something for 10 or 12 reps and we're gonna do 30 skips in between the sets so kind of get strength training and get my heart pumping for cardio
We did two lifts and now we're gonna do some circuit training because baby, time is a ticket. Also, I unlocked a new skill. Y'all ready? Y'all wanna see it? Who can braid until yesterday? I put two braids in my hair, not twist, cause I can always twist. But baby, this is a braid. That's a braid. I'm gonna have to practice starting it off, but a new skill has been a lot. And when I learned how to put weave in it, oh, oh, you won't be able to tell me not a thing. Let me tell you, learning new skills every day. And you could be learning a Spanish skill, a language skill. Did you do your Duolingo? because they just had ins pretty good pace for what we were doing like the clips that I got is like me before class just like practicing like doing different like little moves but it's not the actual class because you can't film in the actual class which like I understand so I always want to be respectful respectful of that and then they'll do something in class I'm like oh I wish that I knew we we're gonna do this then I could show the people I could show the people if you don't go to a yoga studio or you don't want to practice with other people I will have some YouTube channels like in the description box where you can do home yoga the other suggestion that if you wanted to make it like a hot power flow yoga it's a suggestion baby please know if you're gonna fall out or not or if you're not drinking your water you're not hydrated i would not suggest so this is up to your own discretion if you wanted to make it more like a hot yoga because the classes that i go to are heated you could like whatever room you in close the door and plug up a small space heater monitor the heat like to get the room kind of hot and flowing probably will create almost like that atmosphere of it being hot and you're doing yoga which make it hot yoga at home Cause we girlies on a budget we girlies that do not necessarily like fitness classes but we want to try all of the fitness things and i don't know why i say girlies it's like when i get on youtube i have youtube talks i don't say girlies in normal life but when on youtube you do youtube things we can work out so we showing up every day that's what i thought like at some points in the class you get the flow on your own so it's like you're doing your own stretching movements or whatever you want to do and for like one of them i was like in cross leg style just looking at myself in the mirror and i was like you doing it you making it to the classes you are doing a treadmill you're going to the gym you are consistently doing other things do i do it perfect no do you have to do it perfect no i think with fitness or with the hobbies or with anything that you want to do and get better at it's not perfectionism that you're chasing what you're chasing is consistency so that kind of looks like i said i was gonna work out five days this week i worked out three days this week or i looked out four days this week but i'm not gonna quit because i wasn't perfect or didn't hit the five day goal next week i'm gonna strive for that goal again so it's just kind of like being consistent and not giving up if you don't hit the goal because then you just keep starting over because truly when you give up on something it's not that especially if you're giving up on it versus like pivoting or deciding that's not really what you want you truly want to do something else but if you're giving up on something because you're not perfect at it or if you're giving up on it because uh, it's too hard you still have that desire to do the thing you just gonna start over again and then you could have just not quit and been like at least stagnant where you were and not starting over 
or you could have been further along than if you stopped and started over. So if you still have the desire but it's hard, just reassess how you can be consistent versus being perfect. This is what we're doing, we're chasing consistency. Let me get out of here, it's hot and I'm ready to turn it around. Another day, another workout. E vamos a al gimnasio. Mm, vamos al gimnasio. Correcto, de, eso es correcto. Y estoy haciendo ejercicio. Tejero, no, 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 no correcto, no correcto. Trigo, yo recuerdo, yo, oh, yo recuerdo a traer los las cartas de español and i remember to bring the spanish index cards just let me find them i done had to sign up for like four months i just never think to bring them nor study them okay here we go i do weight lifting yo estoy haciendo levantamiento de paisa hoy Hoy no es el día de la parte superior, superior del cuerpo. And it's not going to be an upper body day. And I have a question for you guys. In español, a todos les gusta levantar pesas. Do y'all enjoy weightlifting? Do you? I'm going to study these cards and I'm going to get this down. I'm going to get it down. But today we're going to do like a full body circuit exercise we're gonna do three heavy lifts and then we're gonna do a circuit and the circuit that i'm doing is from my friend my instagram friend char you know i've never asked her how to pronounce her name but it looks like char to me or it could be char it's her instagram right here and she posted on her youtube channel oh let me put her youtube instead of instagram this is her youtube channel she posted a short of a home workout that she did I'm excited that she started her YouTube journey and I'm ready to try her workout because it looked good. Like she had all this workout equipment at home. But I don't got TRX straps and shit like that at my house. No man, no man. We don't have it. But the gym got it. So that's what we're gonna do. But also, the other thing, that's my favorite. So I'm gonna get a shirt that says, but also. I to tell you guys before we got here and got started today. Which y'all know how I'm reading Kings. I'm in Second Kings. And yesterday I did the soap methods, which is like scripture, observation, application, and prayer on 2 Kings chapter 4, which is like when Elisha is doing like all of these kind of works in God's name. And like at least two of the works where the lady didn't have any money, but she had olive oil. He told her to collect the jars and the olive oil, like she had a little bit amount of olive oil. She collected a lot of jars and a little bit of olive oil expanded enough like she poured and poured that little bit of olive oil to all of them jars until she didn't have like any more jars left and then the olive oil ceased to pour and so she had enough to pay off the debts and had like enough left over just to sell so that she could have money in her pocket so he did four different things so that was one and then the other thing that was more kind of like expansion was it was it was they was going through a famine or something and so it was like a group of a hundred men and then like the prophets is what i'm getting from the scripture and like they gave the prophets like the first um i forget what they call it the first when you uh the first reaping of the harvest of whatever it is to make bread i, I forget the name that it's called and so they get a bread to Elisha and Elisha like well God told me to feed these 100 men they was like but it's only like four or five loaves he was like well this was God told me to do go out there and feed them and like it was enough bread with bread left out and like my observation like of that scripture was that God worked with stuff that people already have so a lot of times like we be looking for miracles we be wanting like something that we don't already have which God can do he can do that but he also expands things that we already have so that's what i was just thinking like i have like skills and things like about myself and if i expand on it work on it pour into those things then those skills expand and it will create like something for me to have plentiful from like i'll be able to use it in a bunch of different ways you know be able to like grow financially from using it that way 
and also just grow as a person grow like in my relationship with other people is I learn more I'm able to impart that for other people and they're able to impart that for other people so when I think about expansion and God given like sometimes you have what you need you just need to expand on it and develop it a little bit more and so that's kind of was like my observation and also my application so the observation was that he used what they already had in those two scenarios and then my application was me using what I already have and expanding and pouring into it and, and knowing that it's sufficient for what I need and it's going to be even more plentiful and like overflowing as I kind of pour into it and lean into it and expand what I already have I can't remember what my prayer was, which doesn't sound really great, but I do have it wrote down in my uh, in my Bible study journal, soap kind of Bible Bible study journal that I have. But if I'm thinking about it now, talking to you guys about this scripture, I think that my prayer would definitely be to see the opportunities where there are expansions and bring it to him so that he can kind of show me the way that I can over that I can pour into it in their ways. Uh, that it can overflow because it's always going to be sufficient and it's always going to be overflowing for more than enough but i have to bring it to him for him to work it that way so i just wanted to share that and now we're gonna go work out because i got my pre-workout and i'm as ready i'm as ready to go oh and i put a face on for y'all i know i've been coming to her looking real raggedy raggedy for the past couple of days today i said we're gonna do something for the girls because Ain't no wrong with gym makeup. They hate but they broke though. They broke though. But the guy will make it sufficient. God will make it sufficient. He gonna make it overflow. So if you hate that, you broke though. Bring it to God. Let him make it sufficient. And also let him let it overflow. Okay? You don't gotta be broke. You don't gotta be broke with Jesus. Spiritually, morally, or financially. Alright, let's get out of here. Awesome. <laughs> Oh, it's been a little minute since I didn't did a deadlift or a Romanian deadlift, whatever they want to call it, a convention. It's not a convention, it got to be a Romanian. It's been a while since I did a Romanian deadlift, so let's get back to it. Okay, now to the fun part. We're gonna do uh, the circuit. So the circuit is gonna be a lunge kick with a ball, jump ups with a resistance band, step up with weights, and a pistol squat with TRX. I'm not sure how I'm gonna set all of this up because this requires at least two different setups from what I'm reading so it may not be in this order but that's gonna be the four exercises that we're doing in the circuit so let me figure out how to set this up and then we gonna get into it let's get into it yeah oh yeah and pretty Rick and blue stars hit I got my uh, music it's playing random and <laughs> going from gospel to Spanish to rap to slow songs to grind songs it's just a good little mixture going on in my ear right now
slower Can we just take control? We're overcomplicating how the flow's hollow Shouldn't be the stock broke Shouldn't be this hard to tell you I want more I wanna see that you want me Snatch me up quick Let's see the ring I wanna know Can we move forward? Bust down that door Well, okay, cuties That's gonna be it for today I got like I did two rounds on camera, so I got like three more rounds to do. We're going to do half of what she did. She did ten. We're going to do five. And I'm going to be out of here. So I will see you guys for tomorrow's workout. Let me know if y'all try like this circuit at the end that she did. It can be done at home. And I've also like before this part, if y'all missed it, I put like her doing the workout on screen. But I also link it down below if I can figure out how to link a short in this video. So go follow my girl. She's going to be doing home workouts, gym workouts. And she started her YouTube journey. Another fitness girly in the mix. Like I said, I don't say girly, but YouTube make you say stuff you don't normally say. So I'll see you later. I went to a new class today. Whitney and she tried to kill us. It was good. It was like very much core, core glutes, thighs, and... It was lovely. I might have to still clear her Thursday classes. I couldn't really get any clips because everybody kind of lingered after class today. And I was like on time for class. So just know that I went and it was a very well-deserved workout. But I'm also realizing that this is my fourth straight workout day this week. So I may or may not do cardio. I'm not going to record it. If I, I may or may not do cardio. I'll put right here if I actually did the cardio. Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow for a home workout. I'm not leaving my house tomorrow. So tomorrow is going to be a home workout. So this is this just like a little update. It's so funny. When I picked the camera up, I've been doing home workouts for like a month. And then I picked the camera to, feel a, to film a week of workouts. And I'm at the gym two days a week and yoga three days a week. And I ain't did that home workout. I think it's because I got y'all with me. But tomorrow we're going to do an Asia home workout. And I hope y'all enjoying your day. And I hope that y'all are getting y'all work out in. This should go up on a Wednesday. So if it's Wednesday and you ain't moved your little body, get to moving it. A walk will be just fine. We have made it to our last day of this video of week of workout. It is Friday. I will do something tomorrow, Saturday, but it's probably just gonna be cardio and and nothing to see there. This is gonna be a day of home workout well of a home workout and this has been like what's been keeping like me moving and grooving as far as like fitness and exercise for the last really probably about two months i've mostly been doing home workouts and the way that i usually structure it if i'm not just doing cardio which is just like me hopping on a treadmill for 32 for 30 minutes to an hour depending on like my mind frame from that day then I will do like a full body workout. And it's more like a hit style Iman. I do a mix of getting on and off the treadmill. So I pick one exercise and I will do it for four sets. And within them four sets, I'm getting on and off the treadmill. After I do that, I'll move on to another exercise. Do that for four sets, hopping on and off the treadmill. And I do it in a full body style. So I'll do something to work my legs, something to work my upper body, something that works everything. Let's get into it, yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's get into it. It's the pre-workout, y'all. The pre-workout got me doing this. Let's get into it. Like baby, I'm up in my bag. I can't believe baby so mad. My baby, she looking so bad. Look, mama, I just wanna ball. So I had to give it my all. They praying on me that I fall. But they don't be getting that call. They say for the flex, no, it's facts. I put that weight on my back. I'm counting this money regardless of what you been doing. I'm getting these racks. It's the life that we have Life while you just talk about it 
Put my money where my mouth is and I keep it solid Speaking of my name and I just can't allow it Working in the tent of the whole team is balling, yeah I feel like I'm doing a dash I pray when I whip you don't crash Putting that weight on my back And putting my team on a map She hit me and said what's the move It's like we got nothing to lose I swear that I'm telling the truth Hand on the Bible when I'm in a booth Look mama I just wanna ball So I had to give it my all I don't know if that dolphin push up is right, but it's terrible. And that's how I know I gotta keep doing it. See, I thought I was gonna back up off, but I'm not. I could look up to see if I'm doing it right, but let that keep going. Let that keep going. But they don't be getting that call. They say for the flex, no, it's facts. I put that weight on my back. I'm counting this money regardless of what you've been doing. I'm making these racks. I hate the. Oh. Don't work out. Done. It was done. So, how I did it was I recorded the first 30 minutes of me working out because it does take like a little bit like of intensity away from my workout. Like when I'm recording and working out because I got to change the camera, get the angles, all that kind of stuff. So what I did was I recorded the first 30 minutes and then the last 30 minutes I just went out in. I burned 370 calories. And then I like doing it this way because it also gets my cardio in. Whenever I go to yoga and then I come home and do like my cardio, that means I worked out for like an hour and a half or an hour and 45 minutes. But when I do like this on and off the treadmill workout, I usually just work out that hour and then like because it's a mix of cardio and strength training like i feel really good about it and i don't feel the need to do extra cardio later even if i do go for walks and stuff it's not like it's not mandatory like sometimes i feel like when i do yoga or i just lift at the gym like pure lifting like i have to do cardio when i do this workout it's such a good mixture that i feel like i got a really good workout both ways and what i want to say is did you do your duolingo Okay, that's what I want to tell you. Now, I'm gonna figure out if I can share like my Duolingo, um, my Duolingo, what is it, at or something like down below, so that we can follow each other on Duolingo and we can learn a language together. I'm learning Spanish, but Duolingo has like a bunch of other stuff on there. Now, what I will say is, Duolingo will teach you some stuff, but it may not get you speaking Spanish. But if you just want to do something like you want a hobby, like a hobby that's that you feel like it's growing and stretching you then learning the language is a really good one duolingo don't sponsor this but it's a really good one i've done duolingo i'm doing that i've done babble and i also have done a spanish dictionary as well to learn vocabulary and that one is free too so like a bunch of different stuff if you wanted to learn another language in realidad yo puedo hacer magia tengo un perro un gato un peto etc Estaré en Alemania, España, Francia, etc. That's all I got for y'all today. I got fitness in Spanish, fitness in Spanish, fitness in Spanish. Like encouragement today. I will see you guys next time. And I'm about to box myself in really good. The next video is going to be a bit of like home stuff that I'm doing. I'm going to box myself into it so that I don't quit. <laughs> Because I have boxes of stuff here to like do around the house because y'all know one of my goals is to lean into actually decorating the house and just doing more stuff to it. So that's going to be the next video. I will see you guys next time and until then, hasta luego. Life while you just talk about it